हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सीरीज फॉर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ ई एंड टुडे इज द डे वन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज ई व्हाट आर द मिनिमम हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज लाइक अ रैम सीपीयू व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रन ई व्हाट आर द सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज नीडेड टू रन ई and what are the steps that we need to follow to install evng as well as how to add images images in sense like if you want to run a device let's let's suppose if you want to run cisco router okay what is the image that you need to run inside the evng machine so this is kind of a series that i'm going to start right now and in this video it will be a basic kind of a video where you can at least set up a basic lab and you can do your practice so with the help of this video you can at least build your ccna lab or ccnp lab because i am going to explain you how you can import router and switches okay in upcoming videos i am going to explain the more complex labs how we can set up like palo alto labs fortigate labs and all those things so i'll request you to please watch this video till then and also i don't recommend you to skip it as it has lot of um, a important information and also i'll request you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started friends first of all we'll try and understand what is evng evng is nothing but a network simulator tool so what exactly this tool does with the help of this tool you will be able to understand how network devices are working and how network technologies are working let's suppose if you want to understand how a router is working you have to either buy a new hardware okay or you have to go to a institute which they will offer you a device and you will be able to practice it right but with the help of network simulator tool you can install the router inside of this tool and you will be able to understand how the router is working and it works the same way how a real device works right and right now in uh, like network simulator like in evng you can understand router switches firewalls load balancer and the name is endless so you will be able to practice all those labs as well as let's say if you want to do some testing there is a requirement for the customer you can do also with the help of evng now we need to understand what are the requirement that we need to run this network simulator tool to run evng you need four logical processor or virtual processor what we say okay and 6 gb of ram so this processor the logical processor i'm just talking about it can be L, uh, i3 i5 i7 i9 whatever it is okay and 6 gb of ram at least you need so how you can check with how many logical processor you have so you have to go to task manager and you have to go to cpu and you have to check this out so i'll just increase the size of the screen so here you will be able to see logical processor in this you can see logical processor is 8 right and the memory that you see is 16 gb here right friend this is how you need to verify whether you have this logical processor as well as ram inside of your pc okay once you verifies that with the 
uh, with this uh, basic uh, configuration you will be able to run router and the switches okay now if you want to know that which device requires what processor how, how much processor and how much ram so what you have to do is you have to go to evng website let me rub this off for some time evng okay you have to go to the this website you have to go to download and you have to go to resource calculator right and once you download this resource calculator you need to find it out let's suppose i want to check for cisco asa okay asa right so okay uh, it may take some time i am not sure about it yeah so asa requires ram which is if you go if you try to say this column so it requires one core logical core and 2 gb of ram so if you want to run two you need 4 gb of ram as well as you need two cores the virtual cores which is known as logical core so let's say if you want to run polo alto okay polo alto so you have to see that polo alto requires two cores and 8 gb of ram so let's say if you have like 16 gb of ram then you cannot run two polo alto at the same time if you want to run panorama so four cores and 8 gb of ram so this is how you can check what are the resource that you need to run a device so let's say ftd so same way ftd needs four cores as well as 8 gb of ram okay so this is how you can check now we'll move on and we'll try and understand what the software that requires to run evng right so friends first of all you need vmware right so you a uh, vm you can also go for vmware player as well okay that is free and you will be able to install it now the second is the image of evng right the third that you need is the windows or if you are using mac then mac client pack so in this client pack you'll have like all the wireshark putty and all those things then you need witness cp and the fifth is the images of the devices so this you can understand that you need to install vmware okay the second is you can download it from the evng website i'll show you how that is an image for evng this why the client pack is required if you want to connect through putty or if you want to do wireshark capture then wireshark will be included if you want to do rdp uh, to connect to your windows machine so and then you need rdp so all the tools will be installed in the client pack and let's say if you want to copy the file from your local computer to evng in that case you need winscp okay and the images which requires to run router switches firewalls and all those things okay now we'll come back to how we need to install evng that so first of all we have to install even uh, vmware first okay so now we will go to the browser and we'll see how we can download vmware so now we'll move on to the browser and let me rub this up okay so once you go to eve ng website you have to go to download right so download and then you have to download you can if you want you can download the professional but you have, you need to pay some money 
and if you want to just use for a testing that how uh, the devices are working or for your uh, uh, reference purpose like uh, if you want to learn something then in that case i'll recommend you go for free one and then you can go for pro later so you have to install the eve ng ovf file you need to run this file into the vmware and they have a link to download vmware workstation player so you need to click over there right so first thing vmware player that you need to install now go to download and download now save it as this is not required this is for linux so you just need to install for windows so it is downloading now so we'll just wait for some time i'll just pause this video now so friends now we are done with the installation like not the installation the download now you just need to click on the file and it will start installing it so you have to wait for some time so uh, the installation is very straightforward like you just need to click next 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 uh, there is no uh, much difference installing a simple software like that so you don't need to select any other thing whatever the default setting that you see just click on the next 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 that's it so click next accept next okay next if you want to do this i don't want this so next desktop that next install that's it so once it is installed you will see lot of virtual uh, network adapter that gets added into your if i go to control panel i'll just able to show you now so control now if you go to network and sharing center you will see two virtual network has been added i'll explain you in the upcoming videos later not now because that is required so i don't want to license it i just need it for free now okay so the first step is completed now so vmware installation has been completed here now you have to download the image right so you have to we have to go again to evng website go to the download section again and you have to download the ovf file not the iso file not required the ovf file you can go either to this link or this link i'll go to google okay so it is not available so we'll go to the mega one just click on this download so it is downloading now so we'll just wait for uh, some time to get downloaded meanwhile i'll just pause this uh, video so we have successfully downloaded the eve ng file so what we have to do is we just need to extract the files so i'm just extracting the file so once the extracting of the file is completed we'll download the eve ng clients okay so now our second step we'll go to that screen so that should be visible okay so the vmware has been completed the image has been downloaded so we need to download the windows client right now okay just rub this out and we'll go to again this download page itself 
and if you are apple or maybe linux then you have to go to this client side and as i'm using windows so we'll go to the windows client pack and we'll download the windows client pack from mega so download now meanwhile we'll import the images to vmware player so we will open vmware player okay and we have to open the file so we have to go to download evng the one which we have downloaded today so i guess this is the one today that we have downloaded okay I'll just delete the old one delete from the disk okay so you have to go to open virtual machine import this one and you can whatever the location you want to save this you can just save it import so it will take some time to import i'll just pause the video for that moment so once the import is completed you will see this screen and you have to go to edit the virtual machine so now here uh, the uh, the default memory will be 8 and the default processor will be 8 uh, 4 now you have to click on this virtualization that intel vt so you have to go and check your processor support for virtual vt basically whatever processor you see in the market right now every processor supports intel vt that virtualization okay so do you don't need to worry about it you just need to go enable it so if you want to know how to enable you can do go on google and you can search for that in case if it is not starting and it is saying an error that it is not enabled in that case you don't need to worry now by de default it will be enabled so here what you have to do is you have to add a disk because once you import the images you need a disk so hard disk default setting whatever it is next next and uh, if you want i'll just mention as 100 gb if you want you can mention 50 gb 30 gb whatever it is okay finish so now this has been completed you have added a disk now here you have to go and click on NAT maybe sometime for some uh, uh, like laptop bridge should work but uh, by the like I recommend you to click on NAT and click OK and you have to turn this on okay so once this turn okay you don't need that software update right now this is related to vmware not related to evng or something so first time booting will be little slower after that it will be very faster yeah you will get an ip address 192 168 27 128 so what you have to do is you have to go to your cmd and try and check whether this ip is reachable or not so reachability in sense you will you should be able to ping this ip address so 27.128 as i am able to ping so i am able to reach evng device so from your machine the evng device is connected right now so friends our connectivity is fine and now we'll just see whether uh, the client pack has been downloaded and then we have to install that client pack okay so we'll go to the website and we can see it is completed now we need to just install this one right so installation is also for evng windows client is straightforward so you just need to click on next 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 that's it so it will ask you to install a multiple application in between so this is uh, for rdp that is uh, ultra vnc okay so install and then it will ask you to install wireshark 
and those things yeah so it is very straight forward you don't need to uh, do any any other uh, customize settings or something so it will be very uh, default settings okay so next finish uh, it will redirect okay so no agree next 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 so it will be very easy to install once you uh, if you guys uh, face any issue or something you just let me know on the comment box so that i can help you guys on those things yeah and uh, let's say if you want to reach on my email id uh, email id is also there in that description box you can just send me an email as well yeah so i'll just pausing this video uh, for some time as the installation progress is on so yeah so the uh, installation has been completed now the next part is we have to download winscp and we have to install winscp right so we'll do that we'll go to the website first so how we gonna go go over there so i'll just rub this out for some time and we'll type winscp so w i n s c p so you have to go to this website and you just need to download it for windows direct download yeah save it and it is downloading so yes we have downloaded it and it is also very simple to install accept next next install so friends now we are done with the fourth step the next is we have to transfer the image and we have to do the testing whether the devices are working so the last step is to transfer image from your pc to evng which is installed in vmware right so we just need to install that so okay so i'll just rub this out finish and how we can uh, copy the images we have to run winscp first okay and i'll show you how it is so here you need to put the ip address so whatever the ip address you see over here so it is 192.168 so 192.168.27.129 right so once the ping is happening then only you will be able to connect now you have to click on yes and the root will be the username and eve will be the password okay so as i have the router switch images and for that what kind of folder that you need to create you have to go to evng website first you have to go to documentation and you have to see the naming convention so for let's say if you want the router okay cisco router so cisco router right the folder name should look like this so what exactly this is this is qmo folder name right so as we are seeing for cisco routers right so cisco router router okay so the folder name should uh, look like this and the inside file name should name should like be this so as i have already been created the same way right i need to change the name of the inside folder but outside folder is same right see 
वी आई ओ एस वी आई ओ एस वी आई ओ एस फिफ्टीन एंड एल टू ओके दिस द वर्जन एम दैट यू कैन स्पेसिफाई एनी थिंग वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट ओके सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू लोकेट दिस फोल्डर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन ओ पी टी राइट देन यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन यू नेट लैब राइट देन एड ऑन्स देन क्यू मो एंड यू हैव टू कॉपी बोथ द फोल्डर्स हियर जस्ट ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप ओके सो वंस द बोथ द फाइल्स गेट कॉपीड यू जस्ट नीड टू रीनेम द फाइल सो यू हैव टू गो इन साइड ऑफ दिस एंड जस्ट रीनेम दिस रीनेम विथ वी आई आर T O A, right? Okay, sorry. It is V I R T I O A, right? Up and the same thing. You have to do it for other device. So V I R T I O A, done. So we are done with this. now you have to go here and you have to open the browser and you have to type the same ip address 192.168.27.129 27.129 okay now if you see what are the things that we have done we have installed the vmware from the evng Website we have went there and we got the link and we have downloaded it. And after that, from the same website we have downloaded the image of the Evangi, right? The same link we have downloaded the Windows client. Then we have gone and downloaded Window Windows CP, and then the images that we have transferred from your PC to Evangi VMware. right so we have completed all the steps now you have to go to the ip address which you see over here okay and the username would be admin and the password will be eve okay and you have to create a new lab so you can type anything test okay now you have to select the nodes and you have go down so cisco ios cisco ios or maybe okay i guess uh the naming convention is little wrong that is the reason it is not showing so we just need to rename it to small i i guess we have to rename it as small i and then we'll check whether we are able to see or not so cisco uh if devices are not visible you just suspect that it can be a issue with the naming convention so you just need to verify it again so i can see it has all the small letters and we have defined the capital letter over here that is the reason it is not uh, recognizing so we'll just configure it with small letter and we'll see whether it is getting recognized so i was creating this issue because you should understand that naming convention is very important so now you have to go to evng lab area and you need to select now here it will show you how much ram what is the ethernet and 
what are the things are there you just go here and do a start we just need to click on this as talent is already installed over there like putty is already there so it will get open by default so now the device is starting right now okay so it will take some time to start and if you want to check the switch just go to the notes and click on cisco ios switch and just do a start and double click on it so so once you double click on it you will be able to see the putty now you will be able to configure the interface or whatever you want to do you can do that yeah same way the switches will also work so in this video this is what i wanted to show you guys and there's a lot of a lot more things are coming which i'll be adding in this series so if you like this uh, video please do me a like and if you have suggestion for my videos please put it on the comments or you can send me an email and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so thank you so much see you in the next video